Hey guys, it is Christmas Eve. Welcome to Art Du Jour, December the 24th. I hope wherever you are, you are having a peaceful and joyful Christmas Eve. I'm working on a mosaic star, and I thought that this would be a wonderful way to spend a very quiet, quiet um, Christmas Eve here at home. I've got most of my cooking done. We aren't expecting any family or friends, but that's okay. It's going to be a very quiet affair with just us and the doggies. Um, but this is a wonderful way to sit down and spend some time thinking about the season, the past year, the year coming up. It is a wonderful meditative piece, and I have really enjoyed it. All I did, y'all, was just cut, I traced and cut out a star, and then I painted it black, just a, a flat black with acrylic paint. And then I'm using, um, I'm using some Christmas cards, I'm using a, a little chips from a CD. If you're going to do this, be super careful. Be sure to wear glasses and and probably gloves. I got a few little slivers of glass in my hand when I was doing this, so be careful if you're going to go this route. I'm also using some small, just small um, glittery objects that I have laying around. We're also using um, also using the the pennants that we made so you know we just got a selection of stuff and i'm just going to sit here for a few minutes and i'm listening to um the king's college choir from cambridge england this morning so that's a such a lovely lovely thing to listen to i'm a big anglophile i love anything english so listening to king's college choir is just awesome um this is simple y'all it's simple and it's fun and you can get as complex as you want to with it or you can do something very simple this is also a super fun thing for kids to do it kind of keeps them quiet and they can do it on a you know do it on a really large scale and you could put them at the table with some some glue and you know and and I mean, you don't even have to have something like this. You can use old jewelry and old beads and things like that. I love stars. And I think that part of the reason that I love stars is because I love, I love the Christmas story. I think that the, the wise men following the star, the shepherds following the star, it kind of speaks a lot to faith and how we, um, you know, we kind of tend to, to try and things, th to try and find things to follow in life. And, um, you know, whether it be in a spiritual way or, a, you know, any other way, we, we try and find uplifting, um, positive things to relate to in life. And I don't really think there's anything more positive or uplifting than to look up into the night sky and realize what an insignificant small piece of the universe you really are. And I'm not saying that in any sort of negative way at all. It's just that, you know, when you look up there and you think, gee, what you know, I'm tiny and insignificant. <laughs> um, but of course, everyone is essential. No matter how tiny or insignificant you you think yourself you are essential to the universe and essential to the way things work and essential to the the, um, the big picture so I, I love stars I love stars I love the story of the star I think it's important for us to, to you know to find our own path and find our own stars to follow so all I'm doing here is I discovered that I'm going to need kind of a skinny piece right here. So I'm just continuing to cut up, um, you know, pieces and parts of Christmas cards. I also have some, some painty papers here that I'm working with. I love to work with painty papers. 
I also pulled out some seed beads, but I'm not really sure if I'll use them or not. Might, might not. Not quite sure. I, um, I'm using a couple different adhesives. I'm using just the regular Mod Podge. I'm also using a little bit of diamond glaze. If you don't have diamond glaze, don't worry about it. But sometimes diamond glaze makes the um, makes pieces just go down just a tiny bit easier, especially when it's like a little rhinestone or something like that. And these little rhinestones have been super tricky to work with today. They're tiny and uh, they like to stick to everything. They like to stick to everything except what I need them to stick to. Oh, come on, dear. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get that one down. There we go. This is kind of when that diamond glaze kind of comes in to help, you know, kind of helpful. Let's just put a little bit of that here. You know, we don't have to do a, uh, we don't, we don't have to do a star, y'all. You can do whatever shape you want. Whatever you want. This is kind of an easy, easy art du jour. Everything about it is easy. It's a nice, nice little meditation piece. I've been working on it kind of on and off all day. As I've been downstairs and I've been baking bread this morning and just doing a little bit of prep work for tomorrow. So I won't have to spend the entire day in the kitchen. There we go. We are almost done. Need a few more pieces right here. Let's see if we can get this one to fit. It's kind of like a big jigsaw puzzle. You know, you're just trying to, to make things fit. Nope. It's too big. This is a, it's a great way to kind of go through your Christmas cards and start to declutter if you're into that kind of thing. I'm, I am into decluttering my life right now, so these kind of things really appeal to me in a big way. Okay. I'm going to need a little something here. Um, hmm. I've got some of these. I think I'll just use these. This is part of like a an ancient stash, <laughs> an ancient stash of stuff. It's nice to be able to just kind of tap into your own stuff and and find what you need to work with. And there we go. I'm not quite sure if I'm finished or not. I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes. I have some bread that I hear beeping in the oven downstairs, so going to leave it for a few minutes and see if there's anything else I want to do to it. Thank you guys for joining me for Art Du Jour. I hope you liked our little mosaic star today. I hope you have a joyful Christmas. Blessings to you all. Thanks so much for showing up every day for Art Du Jour. Really having a fun time with this. Bless you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.